Hi guys, I was in the process of creating this landscape. Uh, started off in World Creator, brought it into Cinema 4D with some uh, Quixel textures, and I'm sort of in the end stages of creating this landscape. And I thought I might share with you a way that I sort of cheat some cloud coverage across the landscape. I do it with a, um, just a, I call it a cloud plane and I'll just take you quickly through how I do that. So first of all, I'll come across and create a plane. I make that really big. So that's say 8,000 by 8,000 centimeters. And then let me drag it up. So you can see how uh, it's affecting and totally darkening my whole scene. And then let me create a material, just a diffuse material. I'm going to drag it onto that plane. Let me double click it and open up the node editor so you can see uh, what I'm doing. And I'm going to come out of my camera view and just come above so we can see how this uh, plane is being affected. Now, I just, all I want is, where is it? It's a, um, a noise from the octane. I'm going to put it in a diffuse so we can see how it's being affected there. Um, let's say 0.1 in the omega and 20. I think that's usually all I do. And I'm going to plug that into the opacity. So you can see getting a bit of shine through there. Let's turn back to my camera. And that's it. That's a good way to cheat clouds, have like a, a fake transparent cloud plane. And let me just right click on the plane, go to Cinema 4D tags, octane tag. I'm going to hide camera visibility. So you can see if I go clouds off, clouds on, how it really makes sense. I, I dropped this background in with clouds, so it really makes sense to uh, to sort of replicate that with the light across where that looks nice, you know, for a nice sunny sky, but it just makes sense to drop in a simple cloud plane. And just from here, I can adjust if I change the gamma up and down so that will make it nice and, and bright and not affected. If I undo that, I can drag it back the other way. And you can see how it's dark and there's just only a few gaps peeking through and you can see it replicated here as well. But I'll just sort of keep it midway there. And that is the simple, the simplest way I know to create a uh, cloud plane with some fake cloud coverage. So I will continue on with uh, my landscape and see where it ends up. Thanks, guys. Bye.